Hey there, everybody. It's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today, we're going to take a look at Space Race. Space Race is for one to five players between 45 to 90 minutes coming from Board Cubator Games. And you may see there's not a whole lot here on the back, but we'll find out what's inside. Now, you may also notice that there's no shrink wrap on this box, and that is because I had some audio issue, issues the first time that I did the unboxing for Space Race. So this is version two, hopefully with audio. Now, Space Race is a new version, a board game version of a card game that was called Space Race the Card Game. Now, I actually own Space Race the Card Game and have for a couple of years and have enjoyed it quite a bit. I've really liked the art. I like the, the theme. Here's the inside of the box. That's pretty slick, huh? Um, this is kind of a, an a, a iteration on that, maybe a little bit more going on than the card game, which again was a small box. But it looks like the general card mechanic is very similar. So here are the different factions you can, you can play as. You've got the China faction, and it's got, you know, your kind of player aid on the back there. The Soviet faction, the private sector faction, the NASA faction, and the ESA, European Space Agency faction. As you might guess, this is a game about the space race, trying to be the first to get into space. And it says you are the director of a newly formed space agency. Your mission is simple. Lead your country into the pages of history as the nation that explores the mysteries of the universe. Simple, right? Simple mission. All right. Here we go with our setup, our faction headquarters setup. We've got different missions, Mercury, Vostok, the Cassini Huygens, and I probably mispronounced that, and the Apollo, perhaps. All right. Gameplay. So, it says here that it plays over seven rounds. Space Ace plays over seven rounds. Space Race, not Space Ace. That's an old video game. Anyone remember Space Ace? Um, each round is divided into three phases carried out in the following order. Phase one, manage the agency. Phase two, develop the agency. And phase three, check mission status. After seven rounds, the game ends, and the player whose marker is farthest ahead on the project track wins. I'm going to assume that's the project track with all of those cool-looking rockets that we're going to look at in just a moment, okay? Card-driven game where there are different phases that are represented by the different kind of colored bands on the cards, all right? And it talks to you about what the different areas are called, like the universe and how to place cards into the universe, Developing the agency. This is where all the, the different steps go on. You've got the propaganda, technology, space program, breakthrough, and bureaucracy, okay? And all of those have, perhaps, not every card has all five of those phases, but they usually will have representations of some of them, okay? Different projects that are placed along the side of the board there. Checking for mission status, closing a project, opening a new project agency output, end of the game after the resolve the scoring of the last seventh mission tile, the game ends. The player's rocket, rocket is furthest on the progress track, wins the space race. Okay, then we've got an appendix with all the different card abilities and there are, is a fair amount of iconography and, and so once you get more comfortable with that, I think this will go a little bit more quickly, but you do have to get used to how these trigger, okay. And then you've got a solo variant where you can play against an AI uh, opponent. It says, use these rules if you want to play the game solo against up to four AI players. You can also add those AI opponents into a multiplayer game if you want to have a higher player count. All right, maybe a little more interaction. And it goes into more detail about how that solo variant works. All right, with a bit of an overview for the round structure there. All right, let's take a look at the cardboard. Here we've got our different projects. Okay, and then there are different missions here or along the side. And this is the Vostok mission. These are different projects. Not a whole lot on the back there to show you. There's the Cassini mission. And the Mercury mission. All right, and then we have a very, very, very large board. All right. Did I mention it's a large board? It's, it's a large board. So, 
Um, let's just move this out of the way for now. So here's part of the board. Let me see if I can give you a little bit more of a panorama here. So this is the bottom of the board. You can see there, and it keeps going and going and going. And that's a big board, folks. That's a big board. So um, yes, places to put cards. Definitely not going to have any issue in finding a place to put cards. You may just have an issue with a table. Hopefully that will accommodate the size of that board. All right, so let's take a look at what else there is to see inside here with a nice custom plastic insert. It looks like there's spaces for other things. So perhaps maybe there's Kickstarter extras that were not involved here. I don't really know. Um, but I do see some screen printed wooden meeples and I love screen printed wooden meeples. So I'm going to show those off. Look at that. Very cool. I like those little astronauts. Let's show off the aforementioned rockets that will go up that progress tra tracker. They've got little silicone bases on them, but these are plastic minis representing the different space programs that are represented within the game. So I'll show these off quickly and then we'll go through the cards. Now, the cards are going to be the biggest part of the game, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time going over them because you'll kind of see that they have a similar style to them. Now, you will also notice that there are people that you may be aware of because they have historical figures within the game. All right. First thing I'll show you is you've got the agency. I think they're called agency cards. Basically, everyone's got a starting deck of cards. So I'm going to try to find one. Oh, we still have more here. Those are the breakthrough. Okay, now we're on to a different player. So you can see that the back has the color for this would be the Soviet faction. And you've got propaganda cards of different strengths. Okay, one, three, five, and six. And then you've got te technology in different strengths. Oh, let me put them so you can actually see them. That's, that's helpful. Technology. And you can see they've got the corresponding band, uh, colored band represented there. So this is the technology band and it's going to give you, allow you to do a particular action. The space program is a later phase action. It has a different strength and allows you to do different things depending upon when you play the card, breakthrough cards. Okay, so there's those types of cards for all of the factions within the game. So no need to show you all of those. Most of the cards are going to be these cards that you can get and then play. And they're going to have, like, like I said, different phases represented on them. So here's the space shuttle. All right. Titan rocket, the Apollo program. See, there are different types of cards. Some of them are projects. Mars exploration. These are projects, I think. The purple ones. <laughs> you may recognize that person, aliens of the past. Okay. Escaping Earth, First Man in Space. These are breakthrough cards here. Martian Colony. Some of these may be things that haven't happened yet. I don't know. All right. And let's look at some of the people here. Many of whom you may recognize, like Alan Shepard, famous American astronaut, Alexei Leonov, a cosmonaut, Buzz Aldrin, Carl Sagan, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Neil Armstrong, Richard Branson. So you may recognize a lot of the people within this deck of cards. And this art is maybe, you know, it's very stylized, so it's not going to necessarily be for everybody, but I love the art in this. I was taken by the art in the card game, and that's what really drew me to that. And so I'm happy to see that while they've made some changes, you know, the, this is a much more lavish production than the small card game that I have, you know, with the minis and everything and the, and the meeples and the board. Um, I am glad that they kept the art style and the layout of the cards because I actually quite like that. And uh, I'm excited to see what the Space Race board game adds to this system. So there you have it. Maybe. There we go. Space Race, the board game. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.